right, guys, what's up? So you see the uh, the versatile 260 in the background here. Uh, it's going to be a little backwards because I got my phone on selfie mode. But um, basically, I'm just going to try to do a little walk around of what I know about it so far and all the cool functions it has. So starting with the motor, 9 liter Cummins, um, as you've seen in the badge. I mean, that's a, that's a big selling point for us, having the Cummins. Um, I just, you know, I think this is one of the last tractors you can actually get with the Cummins in it. Um, so yeah, 260 horsepower, engine horsepower. I'm sure the draw bar is probably at 220, 215, somewhere in there. Um, big feature, you know, everything you need is accessible. Fuel filters, uh, check your oil, oil fill. You know, everything you need is within reach on this tractor. Now, the only thing you really need to pop the hood up is the air filter is up in there. Um, but man just just a great tractor for uh accessibility um i believe 175 gallon fuel tank uh we can go up in the cab here oh tall rubber uh they're 480 80r 50 so uh big big rubber on the thing uh we are happy about that so climb up in the cab here um so basically steering wheel you know everything very very nice um into the uh instrument cluster here or all the pretty buttons you get to play with um uh road lights beacon back lights three settings front lights three settings all your wiper settings auto steer um front wheel drive your hydraulic remote that turns on or your hydraulic basically start that starts the uh, screen for all your functions there um shifting so you can shift up one gear two gear or three gears and the same as down one gear two gears or three gears um basically an override for any faults that the tractor's throwing that you uh know either you know it's a faulty wire or something like that you can override keep going uh reversible fan um and so on and so on so Here's your end of row functions, uh, your RPMs, um, all your hitch, uh, hitch settings, four remotes, uh, shifting up, forward and back, throttle, um, then you have some more end of row functions. There's eight end of row functions in here and you know how to uh, radio all that stuff, how to use all that. So I'm hoping... Uh, I'm hoping to get with Mike Les. I'm hoping he'll actually come out and do a uh, kind of tutorial on this tractor for you guys or, you know, one of his uh, videos he does. Um, but I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe this is one of the first new paint scheme tractors uh, to be farmer owned in Northwest Ohio. Now, uh, when my partner and I looked at upgrading tractors, you know, Case, John Deere, they were just out of question. Um, or Versatile made a great affordable tractor for a smaller farmer or guys getting into it a little bit. Um, so that's that's how we ended up with Versatile. It's just a a great tractor, you know, at a great price. And you know, when you can get a Cummins motor in it, you know, that's a no brainer to me. Um, you know, our old Magnum out there is almost seven thousand hours with a, a Cummins in it, and it runs as strong as the day it comes. So uh, we we're very thrilled. To have this tractor so um, going around to the side you can see you know, your uh, USB charger 110 or I'm sorry 120 um, there's off and on just another cigarette lighter on the back side over here cigarette lighter more outlets more I mean more more stuff than you could ever ever want in this thing now we will put our uh, our FM 1000 right here uh, to complete the auto steer this thing did come auto steer ready um, so it's ready to go ready to roll um, but yeah I keep looking at the dash here so when you start everything up in the tractor you know your hydraulic control here kind of starts up <clears throat> um, you can it'll kind of go to this screen so we will go down, we will push that, and then here's our four remotes. Um, 
and basically all your control to control flow rates to control uh, basically anything with your hydraulics is going to be controlled right there um, still learning about it I know Michael S uh, did do a video on this so if you want a little more information on how those work go check out his page um, and he will go through it I can't remember the exact video maybe I'll put a link in the description down below on the exact uh, the exact video how he goes through those that hydraulic screen there but I mean and then you can turn it right back off so in a nutshell guys that is the interior um, one thing my wife will like big buddy seat man look at the, the back on that seat I don't even think Case and John Deere have that big of a you know have that big of a back seat which you know folds down for a laptop anything like that or folds up for whatever you want to do so there it is guys this is the biggest cab in the industry you can just kind of see the amount of room you got in here i mean there's my leg and it's not touching the window I mean, it is just a massive cab um xm radio there's all your controls up there xm radio but i think i forgot to say it again you know i cannot touch the glass of the tractor here of how big this so we had uh, we had tiger lights put in these are still incandescents but tiger lights leds again uh that middle one is going to be a tiger light and that middle one's going to be a tiger light so very impressive at night um you know i love the flat black color i just love that it's so cool uh led uh hazard lights then we go to the back. Yeah, you got the old grandpa lights that'll turn off after the tractor uh, minute to get away. Now, this is kind of neat. You know, it has a light back here for hookups at night or anything you're doing in the back on nights. Um, color coordinated, all the hydraulics. That's nice. Big hitch, big PTO. Um, again, tiger light, tiger light the middle tiger light and again the middle tiger light so the thing is very impressive very lit up at night i'm um, very happy about that again you know 50 inch rubber very tall tractor um yeah trying to see what else that i know you know that i can hit all oh, accessibility again maintenance i mean there's your hydraulic filters how easy is that don't have to touch anything don't have to you know it's just so easy battery shut off um oil filter you know like i said very easy tractor very easy tractor to work on um let's see if i can get us the size on the front wheels our 380 80 by 38 so like i said big 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 rubber all the way around 24 weights um i don't know if most guys ever ship this Here's like a uh, toolbox right behind the suitcase weights. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, there's kind of a quick rundown of it, guys. Um, just a very economical tractor for a beginning farmer. I mean, I, I just can't say that enough. Of And Cummins. Um, but we, are, we are thrilled to have this tractor you know like i said we're definitely going to turn some heads with it in the field because it's not case or john deere so guys are going to be a little uh, uh a little looksy to see what this thing is going down the field but we we're excited to have it and i know uh hopefully expand the brand a little bit so thanks for watching like i said guys that's a quick uh, quick overview of the tractor um definitely shoot me any questions comments but you'll definitely see it uh coming up and definitely with the new vertical tillage or new to us vertical tillage tool. So with that, thanks for watching guys and spring's coming quick. What's up guys? Um, just uh, earlier seen a video of the new Versatile 260 tractor that we just got. Um, well, with that, like I said before, the previous video I don't know back in the fall that you know we are gonna have to find a vertical tillage tool uh, for just corn stalks hog manure stuff like that so uh, found one bought one um, and I'll show it to you right now so it is a 
Kong Skilding 9100. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I believe I am, but I think everybody's got a variation of it. Um, 25 foot and adjustable wings. Or I'm say adjustable gang angle. That's what I like about it. Uh, I got a basket on the end, so with that, you know, you'll uh, we'll see a lot of videos this spring of the versatile and the the Kong Skilled of how well they do together. So stay tuned.